In this video, I want to show you how to customize the main menu on the Garmin Oregon 600 series. The way that we can do this is open up the drawer, go to Setup, and then scroll down and select Main Menu. From this screen, we can control what icons are going to be displayed on the main menu, the number of pages, and the number of icons displayed on each page. So along the top of the screen, you have Select an Item to Change, and to the right of that is a plus and a minus. That plus and minus controls how many icons are going to be displayed on this page. The default is 2x2. Two two. If I hit the plus, it'll increase to 3x3, three three, and if I hit it again, it will increase to 4x4. Four four. I'm going to keep it at 3x3 three three for right now. The first thing I want to show you is how to move an icon. So right now I have three. I have where to, map, and trip computer. Moving an icon to a different space is really easy. All you do is select it and then select where you want it to go. And you can do that with any one of these icons, move it around anywhere on this page. Now below that we have some pluses and it says add item here. And those are different icons that we can add to the main menu. So when I select one of those, it gives me four categories from which I can choose. I have applications, shortcuts, setup, and where to. So I'll select applications and I want to add the compass to the main menu. And I'll do a couple more here, shortcuts, and I'll add tones. We'll go to setup and I want to add display settings to that main menu and where to. And I want to add geocaches. One thing we can do now is we can select any one of these items. We can move it around on this page like I showed you before, or you can select an item and you can move it to another page. So I want to take geocaches, I want to add it to another page. I want to start a second page to my main menu. So I will select geocaches, hit the arrow that brings me to the next page, and then I can select move item here. And you will notice that the default on a new page is 2x2, two two, but you can change that to 3x3 three three or 4x4 four four as well. One other thing that you can do is you can swap icons. You can just switch their places. Right now I have where to, and below that I have compass. If I select where to and then I select compass, they're going to switch. Now compass is on top. And I can do that with any of the icons on this page or on another page. Finally, the way that you can delete an icon is just select it. And then you have the trash can in the lower left-hand corner. Just tap that once, and that'll move that item to the trash, remove it from the main menu. Let's go back to the main screen, and there are the different items that we've added. We still have a second page here, and we still have geocaches on it. You can actually move items around from the main screen as well. So right there in the middle, I have tones on or off. I want to move that to the lower left corner. What I'll do is just hold that down for a second, and you see those two bars appear on either side of the screen. Once those bars appear, I can just move the icon where I want, drag it, and when I release it, it'll go to that space. If I want, I can take that icon and I can drag it to another page. So I want to move tones on or off over to the second page where I have geocaches. So I'll select that again. Those bars appear on either side. I'm going to drag it over to the bar. And when that bar turns orange, what I can do is release the icon. And now that's going to move it over to the second page. And also, because I went back to four icons only on the first page, it defaulted back to two by two instead of having three by three and a lot of empty space. Here's another cool thing you can do with the Oregon 600 series is you can go uh, open up the drawer and go to profile change and you can have a different profile depending on what sort of activity you're going to be using this for. The current profile is classic, but I'm going to select a different one from this list. I'm going to change it to motorcycle. And when it changes, and when I go back to the main menu, a couple things are different. Number one, the background has changed, but also I lost that compass icon. I no longer have a second page, so I can't scroll to anymore. And I also have active route instead of compass. So what that means is when your profile changes, the main menu is going to change. So if I go to setup and main menu, now that I am in the motorcycle profile, any changes that I make here are going to stay with that one profile. So when I go back to the main menu, there's area calculation. That's the one I just added. And if I go in the drawer, go to profile change, and change it back to classic where it was before, now I have my compass back and I have that second page with some other icons on it. So again, any change that you make to the main menu within a profile is going to stay with that particular profile. One last thing that I do want to show you in this video, which is similar to but different from profile, is if we go back to setup and main menu, and in this three bar menu here in the lower right hand corner, we have setup drawer, 
change dashboards, and set his start page. Setup drawer I'm going to show you in another video because that's kind of a big topic in and of itself. But change dashboards uh, can give you a different dashboard on the main menu. The current dashboard is status and you might have noticed it's displaying the time and the date. So what I can do is change that for example to satellite. And when I go back to the main menu now instead of the time and date it's going to show me information on the satellites in view of the GPS. And you can of course go back to the main menu settings or you can add a shortcut to the main menu settings and go back here and change the dashboards to any other one that you like. So that is a quick look at customizing the main menu on the Garmin Oregon 600 series.